What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be installing Vault onto our Apex servers. But before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to the official Apex YouTube channel and like this video. Vault is used on nearly every server for storing various data, as well as allowing plugins to hook into one another. There is little to no configuration to be done here, as Vault is mostly an install and forget type of plugin that allows your server to function normally. There are a number of reasons your server will require Vault. If you want your users or your groups to have prefixes, if you want an economy, if you want a plugin to configure permissions, you're going to need Vault. You can get Vault from a few places, including Bucket, Spigot, and our plugin list from the game panel. These pages include downloads and a full description of this plugin. Installing Vault is easier than ever before, and we're going to teach you how you can get this for your Apex server. Our first step in installing Vault is making sure that we stop our server before we change any files. And once your server comes to a full stop, you can go ahead and scroll down on the page until you hit the jar selection part of the page. What you want to make sure of here is that you are running either a spigot jar, a bucket jar, or a paper jar. You can either scroll down to look for those jars, or you can type it in. And now that you're sure you're on that jar, you can go ahead and head to the plugins list tab on the left of the page. From the plugins page, you're going to want to go ahead and type in V-A-U-L-T and then hit enter. Vault is going to pop up and then you're going to want to go ahead and jump to the page. From here, you're going to see the page divided into two halves. You're going to see a server version inside of the page, which is the Minecraft version of the server. And then on the right, you're going to see the plugin versions and the corresponding versions of the plugin that are compatible with the server version. Right now, our server version is on 1.1.4. We can use this list or we can head to the official Vault website to make sure that it's compatible. From the Vault website, we can go ahead and jump to the file page and scroll down and we can see that the 1.7.2 version is compatible with 1.14 of Minecraft. So from here, we know that we need to scroll all the way down to the version selection dropdown and make sure that we're on 1.7.2. Vault is one of those plugins that works with most versions of Minecraft. You just have to make sure that you're getting the latest version. So go ahead and select that and then click install. You're going to know it's installed by getting these three new buttons on your page. From there, you can go ahead and scroll up to the top and click on the name of your server to head back to the main Multicraft page. Once you're back at the main Multicraft page, you're going to want to go ahead and either start or restart your server to get that plugin running. Once your server is started up, you can go ahead and jump into console to see if the plugin has fully installed. What you need to do to check it is head to the text input at the bottom and type PL and then hit enter. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and see that you have one plugin and it's Vault, meaning you have successfully installed Vault onto your Apex server. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install it through the Apex FTP web panel. So the first step of installing Vault through the Apex FTP web panel is heading over to File, and then making sure that you get the version of Vault for your version of Minecraft. So our version of Minecraft is of course 1.14, so we need to make sure that this is the one we're getting. Let's go ahead and just download this. And once it's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and keep it and then click and drag it onto a folder where we know it's going to be later on. Right here, I have my vault plugin. And now we're going to go back to the Apex Multicraft page. What you want to do from the main Multicraft page is head into FTP file access, log in, and then jump into the plugins folder of your server. From here, what you want to do is make sure that you jump into the upload page and then open up the folder where you have your vault plugin. Go ahead and highlight that file, click and drag it into the drop files part of the page. Once your jar has uploaded 100% one out of one files, all you need to do is head back to the name of your server at the top here and either restart or start your server. Once your server is up and running, as indicated by this online check on the left right here, you can go ahead and jump into console to make sure that your plugin installed correctly. What you need to do is type in this text bar PL and then hit enter. As you can see here, it'll tell us how many plugins we have and what the names of those plugins are. 
The plugin that I've highlighted is the one that we just installed. So there you go, folks. You have successfully installed Vault through the Apex FTP panel, and we showed you how you would install it through the plugin auto install feature that Apex has. Vault is one of those plugins that you just kind of install and it works. You don't have any commands for it and there's no further configuration. So in conclusion, Vault is just an API for developers to hook into their plugins. This doesn't require much from you besides simply installing it. There are thousands of plugins that rely on Vault in order to properly function. If you want to have an economy, ranks, or have plugins that use permissions on your server, it's highly likely that you're going to need Vault. Just a few of the plugins that use Vault are Essentials X, Permissions X, Lock Perms, Shop GUI Plus, Citizens, and much, much more. It's always safe to install it, just in case one of your plugins uses it. Well, folks, that's all I've got for you today. I want to thank you for using an Apex server, and I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.